So I, I wanted you to talk because you you didn't you look like you was about to say something, but you didn't have an opportunity to say something. Well, it, just in AI, I was I was gonna just say that I think it's also like a term that's batted around in this way that it's like what really is AI? Because AI to me really is like machine learning, where machines are teaching. It, you know, a lot of what masks it as AI in some ways is just like complex algorithms attached to the large language model, right? But it's I think we're still a ways away from like. I, I don't know where the definition of AI or the singularity actually becomes, right? Where it's actually thinking, making decisions, teaching itself and how far away we are. I, I do think just to, you know, it's it's a pretty scary proposition because I think it needs more ethical thought and moral thought around where it's going. I think as a society, it's too easy for us to just build atom bombs and then, oh shit, one goes off or, you know, and so I think there's a lot of danger around it. I, I, if, you know, Hariri wrote um, Sapiens and also had something like 23 lessons for the 21st century and, and some books. And in, in that, like his theory is the industrial revolution replaced bodies and now the intelligence or digital revolution culminating ultimately with AI is going to replace minds, right? And so in the industrial revolution, those jobs got replaced by programming jobs or the people that make the machines and things like that. And then, you know, kind of where's the next thing if the, so I think it's, it, I think there's a lot of, lot to think about. I'm not answering from an investment standpoint as much as just, and you know, for my personal company, I just look at like, is it in a spot right now where in the foreseeable future, it's going to leverage a business return for me? It's going to either have less friction, more market, or how am I applying it to the business in a way that's meaningful and not just like, oh, let's just, you know, kind of put this new program in. And But it, it, it's hard not to think yeah. that in 10 years, every kid will have an AI tutor, right? Like if you're rich real rich, you hire a tutor for your kid and he comes over to your house for like two hours a night or an hour, two hours a week. And yeah. he sits with your kid and he figures where your kid is and what, what, what he needs. Like that's going to get replaced by AI. And they're, yeah. they're, then the kids that grow up in Flatbush, maybe will have the same access to great education than the kids that grow up on the Upper East Side. Yeah. Like, De so De it hasn't happened yet. Devil's advocate though, when COVID came, I, I know it's not AI, but people started computer learning and scores went down. Could we haven't, we, could we, 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 we we haven't perfected or even gotten close to tutoring. Um, so my my experience with AI is funny because like, I don't know very much about it. I, I'm just like no one, no one really, I mean, there's probably a couple of guys that knows a lot about it, but I was uh, in the process literally when I built that studio, a part of the reason for building that studio was because I wanted to start a publishing company. I was going to raise like four or five million dollars to start this publishing company. And the AI talk started happening right around then. And a publishing company, you primarily like sign producers, songwriters, mm -hmm. you know, you may sign an artist and it's publishing, right? But you make your money from producers and songwriters. And I was like, you know what? I'm like connected in every label. I'll be able to play this. And I had this great blueprint. And then I heard songs that AI wrote, right? Like the Drake, The Weeknd song. I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys heard that. I heard beats they produce. And I was like, fuck, I don't know if I'm right about this, but I don't want to spend four or five million dollars building up a business for the next, because publishing takes about three years before you hit that cycle. If you, if you do it completely right, right? Where money's coming in. And I just didn't know where AI would be in the music industry three years from now, maybe AI is writing all songs and then there's no need for me to sign Dave Berry to write songs anymore, right? So I'm like, do I take a risk right now of developing and starting a new business based on like humans, right? That I'm realizing the very beginning stages of AI, they're doing it really, really well. and maybe three years from now, AI is writing songs for Beyonce or songs for, you know, uh, whoever or producing beats for Drake. And I don't have the technology. And like he said, it's a lot of money to do that. So I literally completely stepped back from that business and, and uh, decided to just focus on real estate. Uh, 
Bojangles and um, music and just traditionally like from a label perspective because not because I knew it's just a gut feeling and I'm just like you know what instead of like using all this money to do mm. something I'm already unsure about now this AI thing put me in a position where I just want to kind of wait and see what happens and I, I won't revisit that business it's just kind of passed for me at this point but that was my experience with AI recently. And again, hopefully I'm wrong because like he said, that of course so many jobs, so many songwriters, producers out of work, which is 50% of the music business. But from a label perspective, if I had to pay, and I'm just making this up, if I had to pay Timbaland uh, $200,000 for a beat and I could tell AI, hey, I need a beat that sounds like Timbaland and it cost me a frack it don't even cost me anything because i already paid for the program mm -hmm. right it's more cost effective as the label <laughs> i'm gonna go with that ai so i'm i'm i looked at it from both perspectives and i just decided to completely back away from that. So, right. well appreciate you guys i know you gotta run but how can they watch the podcast when will the podcast be available they better could answer that <laughs> <laughs> pass it back to you <laughs> No, we uh, we're we're shooting. We have like four. We're only doing seasons. Yeah. Okay. You know, we're yeah, doing yeah. twelve episodes each season, and uh, we have like maybe five done. We're gonna finish up in September, and we'll be sure to let you guys know when, where, how. But it will be coming. We'll, we'll yell. We'll yell and scream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guys, guys, thanks a ton. End of September. Right? End of September. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. this. Was a really insightful conversation. So. It was a great one. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Forward to seeing yeah. you guys. Really enjoyed choice. it. Thank sure. you, guys. Yeah. Awesome. And Pleasure. you guys will be on that shit. Yeah, yeah, sure. Man. All, All right. right. It'll, it'll be a billionaire conversation by then. <laughs> <laughs>